happened. And that also means I'm going to need your help. Uh, so while we are waiting for a couple of minutes for more people to, to join the live tour, uh, I would suggest you would ask me some questions. Let me know what you want to know about Lisbon. Are you, what you, are you curious about in the city, the story, the history, about myself? Uh, if you ever visited Lisbon uh, before, give it a heart. If you ever did any of the Sandman's tours or any tour with me, please let me know in the comments. I want to know that you're there. I'm doing this tour for you, so I would really much appreciate your uh, feedback about uh, what we are doing here in this new project. I will uh, try to answer some of the questions online, so go for it, comment below, and let's have a chat. Let's make this really a lively uh, experience, a live tour, okay? Now, while we are waiting still for the other people, I can use this opportunity to tell you a bit about this new project. So I'm sure you noticed that this year is a bit different from the last couple of years. So for the first time, we are not able to travel anymore. We are stuck at our places. So that's not a reason for us to give up. Uh, we want to continue showing you the most beautiful cities around the world. And so we came up with this live tours experience. Uh, the idea is for you to be able to travel and for us to be able to continue doing our work. I'm really excited about being back actually to show you the most beautiful cities. And Lisbon is one of those. So that's why we are here uh, to show you this today. Our tour is going to be around 30 minutes in the downtown of Lisbon. We are going to see some of its top attractions. I'll tell you stories, histories, curiosities. And if you feel like you want to know more, you're curious about something else, or you know Lisbon and you want to see other places, let us know in the comments. And we can take that into consideration for the next couple of um, live tours that we are going to do here in Lisbon. OK? Now, um, if you do like this tour in the end of the experience, if you think it was worth it, uh, you had a great time, you can consider helping us continue this project, me and my team, by giving a small donation to this Life Tours project. Uh, I know it's a hard year for all of us, any euro would make a huge difference for us. If you, like myself, are really affected by this pandemic madness, that's totally okay, I totally understand it. Another great way to help us is by sharing this video with your friends, people that want to visit Lisbon or that have been here before and miss it like crazy, or uh, give it a like, give us feedback, you know, that can really make a difference to us right now. Let us know what you think uh, about these tours, all right? I'm counting on it. Meanwhile, let's see if I can check some questions, I hope so, and uh, give you some answers right away about this. We are about to start on Troy, just a couple of seconds more. Where are you originally form, uh, from? So I am from Lisbon, as you can guess. I was born in here, raised across the river in the suburbs of Lisbon, in a city called Seychelles. And uh, it's the greater area of Lisbon, but a different city. My family still lives there. Hi, mom. And I moved to the city many years ago, to the central uh, Lisbon. Uh, so yes, I studied here in college and I, I, I have been here since. How did I become a tour guide? That's an interesting question. So I actually didn't study history in college. I studied law and I studied theater, not at the same time. And so uh, my job was to be a storyteller. Five years ago, I, I found out about the Sandman's tours and I, I decided to go for it. I wanted to become the storyteller of Lisbon. And that's what I have been doing uh, the past five years. I started studying history since, never stopped again. Uh, it's like a rabbit hole. You just go through it and you never see the end. So since then, I am a tour guide here, a storyteller, let's say. What's my favorite city in Portugal? I think you can guess that. 